Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. Today is the 75th anniversary of D-Day. Kaylee has more on this. Kaylee? 75 years ago, today wasn't just another day. Soldiers took to the shores of Normandy, France, ultimately liberating the Holocaust regime. One of the original D-Day paratroopers took to the same free fall he took decades ago, only this time his parachute wasn't pelted with bullets. June 6, 1944. Around 160,000 Allied troops risking their lives in the largest military, naval, air, and land operation ever attempted. In a battle that would ultimately lead to the liberation of Europe from Nazi Germany and the end of World War II. World leaders commemorating the event on the south shore of England, where those troops embarked 75 years ago. British Prime Minister Theresa May read a letter from a British Army captain to his wife on the eve of the battle. Although I would give anything to be back with you, I have not yet had any wish at all to back down from the job we have to do. The heroism, courage and sacrifice of those who lost their lives will never be forgotten. President Trump and the First Lady joining the Queen after the ceremony to personally thank World War II veterans who were on hand for the event. Across the English Channel, paratroopers with the British Royal Air Force dropping in from above. 97-year-old veteran Tom Rice joined paratroopers recreating the historic jump. Rice was part of the 101st Airborne Division on D-Day, recalling that jump in 1944, one of the worst he's ever had, with a bullet striking his chute on the way down. I landed standing up for the most part and then went down to my knees and bounced a couple times because I had so much equipment. Wow. <laughs> More ceremonies continue today, obviously, since today is wow. the actual day. What a different generation, honestly. <sighs> Could you imagine so now? that the 97-year-old recreating that? Could you imagine... The, the memories of doing that again in the flashbacks to 75 years ago, I can't even imagine that. No, I can't imagine either. I think it would be traumatizing it to would. me, but yeah. he seemed like he really has come a, a long way since, since 75 years ago. Yeah. I, would, I think I would cry. Just the memory of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it would be traumatizing for me I, as well. Well, I, you know, people aren't born to have to go into that kind of combat and that kind of situation. It's so... Stressful. So stressful beyond what we can imagine. Yeah. I don't know how they deal with it, honestly. I don't know. We have, we have situations now where we can help people with that, but I yes. don't know about then. Yeah, yeah. so true. Thank Thanks, you, Kaylee. Kaylee. We appreciate it. All right, we'll be back with more on Ozarks Fox AM. Don't yes. go anywhere. I've never skydived, though, either, so yeah. that would be traumatizing <laughs> enough, and yet alone with bullets flying. Sacrifices. <laughs>